Welcome to FOMO Consulting for your daily AMC stock analysis video on Wednesday, June 2nd. Buckle in, ladies and gentlemen. We are going for one heck of a rod. And you will always, always remember this day. What a wonderful, wonderful day to, for each and every one of you. As always, the apes are winning. The diamond hands are winning. And the retail investor is winning. If you find this video informative and entertaining, please like, share, certainly comment, and most importantly, subscribe. It is a newer channel, and I would appreciate your support. Let's get into the video. So thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you. Start with a quote. If you want wealth, be wealth. Talk it. Think it and prepare yourself to have it. You are on the cusp of possibly uh, enormous wealth. Everyone is making a lot of money right now, but the job is not done. We have a long way to go still. Prepare yourself. So I read an article today and I thought I would share it with you because it pissed me off. <laughs> Hedge funds boost short bets, escalating retail trader showdown, facing another push from day traders, because we're day traders, targeting the most shorted stocks, such as AMC Entertainment Holdings, Inc. Hedge funds aren't backing down this time. Oh, they are so wrong. They will back down from us. We are the apes. We are the diamond hands. We are the retail investor. We will not back down. We did not get into this for many, many weeks and months only to take a few dollars profit to get out of their way. No, no, no. We are here to stay and we will finish the job. Let's look at the broader market. Overall, the market is up today, albeit uh, somewhat narrow. Uh, Dow was up 25 points. NASDAQ up nearly 20 points. S&P is up six points. Overall, mixed on tech. And other sectors, but overall not a terrible day. And AMC certainly outperformed the broader market as well as GME and others. So great day overall. Let's look at crypto. Crypto, great day. Congratulations if you're crypto heavy. Doge up 10%. Uh, Bitcoin up nearly 4%. Ethereum up nearly 6%. Fantastic day. And again, I believe we are all somewhat connected in some fashion. So great day for each and every one of us. Let's look at AMC. What a great, great, great day. Fairy tale stuff, right? AMC closed at $62.55, up $30.51, 95.22%, nearly 100. After hours, we are up around $65, $66. Uh, I'm anticipating a bullish move after 6 p.m. when all the, uh, the heavy selling pressure uh, gets off the stock. We should run like we did last night. That is my anticipation, just my opinion. But most importantly, if you look at this chart, this is not today's chart. So what is this? I want to remind everyone, especially those that have been in like I have since, let's just call it early February, the day of 801. The day of 801, uh, I believe we would not be where we are today without that day. That day drove tons of enthusiasm, kept the retail investor, the apes, the diamond hands, more committed than ever. Uh, I watched the chart that day. I saw it on stock to it. The enthusiasm was off the chart. That was a huge win and no doubt was an ongoing catalyst uh, that kept everyone engaged and believing in AMC. And if you can remember going back now, just a, about a week and a half ago, we were at $12. We were talking about breaking the $14 level, right? Look how far we've come. So again, fantastic day for the uh, German market. Uh, AMC did 100.47% up $25.68. 
Very well done, Germany. No doubt you were a catalyst for our bullish day today. So let's look at AMC's chart for the day. We traded above VWAP. The MACD actually calmed down second half of the trading day. RSI is in neutral. We are set up beautifully for a hard, hard bullish push tomorrow. I could not be more excited about tomorrow, albeit I believe we all need a little rest. It's been a, <laughs> a very exciting day. But overall, I could not be more pleased. And for me personally, the second half of the trading day with an upward uh, consolidation trend, uh, calming of all the indicators was the most promising, at least for me. So some pretty cool things today. Certainly uh, AMC uh, was the most active stock today on at least Weeble. And they're, as always, they are the most popular stock on Weeble. So let's look at a little bit zoomed out. This is the one hour chart. As you can see, the alligator's mouth is wide, wide, wide open. He is hungry and ready to feed. MACD is certainly bullish. RSI is in a slightly overbought area, but that second half of the day on the consolidation certainly helped calm that down, even on the one hour chart. We are set up beautifully for tomorrow. Let's go out just a little further. So this is the daily. Just look at how far we've come since the baby squeezed back in uh, late January. And we can truly call that the baby squeeze now uh, after what we've been through over the last week. Look at where we are compared to that level and how uh, that was the standard leading up before uh, the last week or so. Could not be more impressed and excited about what's to come. So GameStop woke up, the alligator is hungry, and he is starting to eat, and we need GameStop uh, by our side. It only puts more and more pressure on our opponent uh, that are shorting both stocks as well as many others. Congratulations to GameStop and anyone involved. BlackBerry had a heck of a day, up nearly 32% today. Fantastic. Alligator is wide open. MACD is bullish. RSI a bit overbought, but no doubt it is a fantastic play right now, and it is following the trend of GME and AMC without a doubt. Same for cost. Cost had nearly 69% day up, $16.57. Again, we all travel together, right? We're the traveling band. Uh, where one goes, they all seem to go, and that's a great thing. More pressure on our opponent, more pressure on shorts. Uh, by all of us collectively only makes this more likely. So fantastic news coming out of AMC, the company. They have created a Investor Connect Communications Initiative. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, feel free to pause and read or look it up on the AMC website. But most importantly, free food, free popcorn. <laughs> so they're offering retail shareholders free popcorn uh at the movie theater so that's fantastic and five investors hit 2.3 billion in amc uh, stock jackpot uh one of which was blackrock and some of our other larger shareholders but no doubt everyone is making a lot of money over the last few days and <clears throat> the best piece of news today other than being up nearly 100 percent is mudrick capital missed out on more than 300 million by dumping AMC a day early. And they are the smart money. Oh. Remind again, we may very well be in more of a Tesla type squeeze scenario uh, where we have to press that price action up each and every day over a period of time before they exit their positions. As you can see, it got up to around $400 before they actually exited their positions. They are trying to wait us out. They think that we will give up, lose our enthusiasm, run out of ammunition, buying power, whatever it is, they are wrong. And as you can see, they are not covering. So the action that has occurred over the last week or so is not 
the squeeze. They are completely indecisive. They are trying to ride this up until we run out of ammunition, enthusiasm, or we need our money more than they need theirs. So let's look at the short interest. So they actually borrowed yet more shares today, 8.5 million, and that kind of bolsters my argument. They returned nearly 6 million, but they still have 2.65 million in their pocket. Uh, so again, the short interest is 18.11%, uh, percent of free float on loan, 27.61 shares on loan, 137 million, ridiculous days to cover, 1.22, cost to borrow, 9.49, utilization, 99.36. Uh, we still have 46 short owners based on 13F filings as of today and 429 institutional buyers. We own 63.7% based on the percentages. Our volume today was astronomically high at 745 million, and no doubt it will increase as the after hours goes on. At the time of this recording, 9,000 short shares available because they've got them all. And the fee is 11.20, according to Fintel. Keep that with a grain of salt. So absolutely crazy. We nearly put every single call option in the money today. When we spiked to, uh, I think it was like $72.67, something of that nature. We nearly put each and every call option in the money. No doubt, I believe today had some gamma squeeze effect. Uh, there was a lot of delta hedging and whatever was not hedged yesterday, if we go up after hours, and we keep crossing the 70 mark uh, and then pre-market, if we are in the, say, 74, 75 range, you will see additional uh, hedging, I believe, uh, because, again, we will have every single call in the money above $73. Incredible. Big, big money deals, big money deals, big contracts. Uh, for Friday, there's a 70 uh, strike call, 3,500 contracts, actually two of them. Just absolutely incredible amount of volume today. And again, always fun to look at. This has increased substantially, but most bullishly, 94.99% probability we go up to $100 very, very quickly. And the skyrocket version is $900 per share. Again, speculation and probability, but certainly fun to imagine. Let's close with a quote. Working to anticipate the future can be a distraction from the important task of dealing with the present. Don't get too wrapped up in where this will go. Take care of your future. Take care of uh, what you need to and you and your family. Make the right decision around that. This could be a once in a lifetime opportunity for us all. But most importantly, I am exceptionally proud to be a part of this movement. And I congratulate each and every one of you for your accomplishments thus far. And I know everyone is just happy as they can possibly be with the amount of money they've made over the last week or so. Congratulations to each and every one of you. So if you found this video informative and entertaining, please like, share, comment, and certainly subscribe. It is a newer channel and I would appreciate the support, but as always, I hope your life is full of green candles just like today. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.